what if i told you that google just released a brand new ai model that is so small it can run directly on your phone or laptop without even needing the internet and yet it's powerful enough to beat much larger ai models sounds surprising right well that's exactly what google has done with their latest update called embedding gemma in this video i'm going to break down everything you need to know what embedding gemma actually is why it's such an important step for AI and how you can start using it yourself. So now let's talk about what exactly is embedding Gemma. In simple words, it's a special type of AI model created by Google and it comes from their Gemma 3 family of models. Unlike big heavy AI systems that need powerful computers or cloud servers, embedding Gemma is designed to be small and efficient. It has around 308 million parameters which means it's compact compared to gained AI models with billions of parameters, but still powerful enough to do really smart things. Now, you might be wondering, what does it actually do? Well, Embedding Gemma is a text embedding model. That sounds technical, but here is an easy way to understand it. Imagine you give the AI a sentence or a piece of text. Instead of just reading it like we do, the AI has to convert that text into numbers because computers understand numbers, not words. These numbers are arranged in a special pattern called an embedding that captures the meaning of the text. For example, if you give it the word cat, it won't just see random letters, it will create a number pattern that represents the idea of a cat. If you give it dog, the numbers will be different but still close to the cat pattern because cats and dogs are related concepts, right? This is how AI can understand relationships between words, sentences, and even long documents. So in short, Embedding Gemma is a tool that turns text into meaning-rich numbers. And because it's small and well-optimized, it can do this job very quickly and on almost any device, even offline. Now that we know what Embedding Gemma is, now let's look at the most exciting part, the key features of Embedding Gemma. These are the things that make it stand out and prove why Google built it in the first place. One of the biggest strengths of Embedding Gemma is how small and quick it is. When the model is compressed, or what we call quantized, it needs less than 200 MB of memory to run. That's tiny compared to many large AI models that take up to gigabytes of space, right? On top of that, it's incredibly fast. On special chips like the Edge TPU, it can generate embeddings in under 22 milliseconds. To put it simply, that's almost instant. Faster than the blink of an eye, right? Another amazing feature is its ability to work in over 100 languages. This makes it a truly global tool, whether it's English, Hindi, Spanish, or Japanese, embedding Gemma can understand and create embeddings for them. This is huge for developers and researchers who want to build apps that work across different regions of the world. Unlike many smaller models that can only handle short pieces of text, Embedding Gemma can process up to 248 tokens at once. In simple words, that means it can understand and work with long documents, full paragraphs, or detailed conversations without losing track. This makes it very practical for real-world use cases like chatbots, document search, and summarization. Here is another clever feature. Normally, embeddings have a fixed size, like 768 dimensions, but embedding Gemma uses something called MRL. You can shrink the embedding size from 768 to 512 to 256 and even 128 dimensions, depending on your needs. The best part, you don't have to retrain the model. This means you can save storage space and computing power without losing too much accuracy. And finally, let's talk about the design of the model itself. Embedding Gemma is built on the Gemma 3 encoder architecture. It takes your tech, runs it through a transformer encoder, and then applies a method called mean polling, basically averaging out the information. After that, it passes through a couple of dense layers to produce the final embedding vector. This simple but effective design makes it both reliable and efficient, right? Now let's talk about performance benchmark. Because no matter how small or fast a model is, what really matters is how well it actually works. And this is where Embedding Gemma really shines. Embedding Gemma has been tested on something called the NTEB benchmark. Don't worry if that sounds complicated. MTV is basically a giant exam for AI embedding models. It includes dozens of different tests like 
checking how well the model can find similar sentences, how accurately it can clarify text into categories, how good it is at searching documents, and much more. Think of it as a way to measure how deeply a model understands the meaning of language. Here is the impressive part. Embedding Gemma is officially the best performing model under 500 million parameters on this benchmark. In other words, among all the small and mid-sized models out there, none of them score higher than Embedding Gemma. Another reason Embedding Gemma is such a big deal is because it's not just a model sitting in isolation. It's already connected to a huge ecosystem of tools and platforms that developers love to use. Google made sure it works smoothly with popular frameworks like Hugging Face and Sentence Transformers, which means you can load and use it with just a few lines of code. It's also integrated with LangChain and Wave8, which are widely used for building advanced AI apps like RG systems. It doesn't stop there. Embedding Gemma is also supported by ONNX Runtime, which makes it easier to run on different types of hardware. Olama, which lets people run models locally on their computers. And even Cloudflare workers, meaning developers can deploy it at the edge of the internet for super fast responses. In short, wherever developers are working, Embedding Gemma can fit right in. And what does it mean in practice? It means developers can instantly plug this model into all kinds of real-world applications. So instead of being a model you have to struggle to adapt, Embedding Gemma comes ready to use in the tools people already rely on. That makes it not just powerful but also incredibly practical. So that was the full breakdown of Embedding Gemma. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Will small offline AI models like Embedding Gemma eventually replace big cloud-based AI systems for everyday use? Share your thoughts in the comments below because I would love to know your take on this. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with others and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates about AI and technology. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.